In today's video, we are going to talk about BRLA tech computers and see if they are worth it or not. We are going to compare different options from this company with different pre-built PCs. So let's start with the cheapest one on the list, which is the Aurora model. This one has the Ryzen 3 3300X with the GTX 1650 Super. You can pick between the Ryzen 3 and the i3 9100F, but I will definitely go with the Ryzen 3 one for no price difference. It's a better CPU and you are going to notice a difference in high CPU demanding games like Warzone and Red Dead Redemption 2. Another thing I've noticed is that it has 16 gigs of RAM, but it says that it has one stick of 16 gigabytes or two sticks of 8 gigs of RAM. But you can't actually change this when you customize it so I'm not really sure if there is one stick or two sticks on this PC. If it's one I recommend you upgrading it with a dual channel memory because you are losing a lot of performance by putting a single channel RAM. The total price for this PC is A99 but if you want a Wi-Fi adapter because you can't connect the Wi-Fi directly with the cable you will need this one and it's going to be around 950. Do I think it's a good deal? Definitely. But do I think it's a the best deal out there? I don't think so and let me explain why. You can actually get this SkyTech Place 2 gaming PC from Amazon that has a better CPU which is the Ryzen 5 3600 and the GTX 1660 which is a little bit better than the 1650 Super. It has 500GB of SSD and 8GB of RAM at 3000MHz but it actually comes with a Wi-Fi adapter. So here you will have this Wi-Fi adapter but you will need to upgrade the RAM with another stick of 8GB which is not really expensive and I think it's worth it because you get a better CPU and GPU combination for just a $50 difference with the other one if you end up upgrading the Wi-Fi adapter. But if you don't upgrade it and you connect your Ethernet cable, I think the BRLA option is a really nice option to have but I would still spend $100 more to have a better CPU GPU combination. The 1660 will run every single game at 1080p and I think it's the best price performance GPU on the market. And for the CPU, the Ryzen 5 3600 has proven to edit videos at even 4K settings and is one of the best price performance CPUs out there. So I think the BRLA Tech one is a good option, but if you can spend a little bit more, I think this SkyTech will be a better one. But if you don't want to spend more than $950 and you want that Wi-Fi card, you can actually go with the HP Pavilion that has a better processor, the i5-11400, 16GB of RAM, a dual channel, which I'm sure about that, so you won't lose any performance, and the GTX 1650 Super. So it's definitely a similar PC, but has a better processor, I'm sure that it has a dual channel RAM, it has almost the same storage, and the only thing that is worse is the power supply, which is a 350 watt gold efficiency power supply, but you can upgrade it to 500 for $30 more. This is not necessary, but you can do it. So if you're going to spend between $900 to $1000, I would go with the HP or the SkyTech Place 2. But I don't dislike the Aurora gaming PC, and I think that it's worth a buy if you're not going to buy from HP or SkyTech. For the next PC, we have the Apollo one. And here it happens kinda the same as the one that I showed you before. Do I think it's a good deal? Yes, but do I think it's the best one out there? No, I don't. And let me explain why. This PC has a Ryzen 5 3600 that I've talked about, which is a really good CPU. For the GPU, it has the RTX 2060, which is a nice graphics card for gaming, but the total price for this PC is $1300, and I think it's a little bit more expensive than it should be. One thing that I like about this PC though, is the cooling system. I think it has a good CPU cooler and a good cooling overall for the case, but it doesn't have a front mesh panel which is going to make the airflow overall way better. On this case, I would go maybe with the Cyber Power PC Extreme BR that has the i5-10400F which is really similar to the Ryzen 5 3600, a GTX 1660 Super which again is really similar to the RTX 2060. The one thing that you get in the 2060 though is that you get the entry level of ray tracing but other than that both are similar for gaming and it's $200 cheaper. 
This one has a front mesh panel too, so I think the airflow is better overall, but the CPU cooler seems like it's a little bit worse. But you end up saving $200, so with those $200 maybe you can get a better CPU cooler or just leave it with that cooler, which is not a real problem since the i5 10400F doesn't need a high-end cooler. The other thing that you have to do if you buy the Cyber Power one is add 8 gigs of RAM, which is pretty easy and it's not that expensive if you add one stick more for around $50. So I think that is a better option if you have less money, but if you have $1300, I think the AVS Master from Newegg is a little bit better too. It's $1300, so here you won't save money, but you will get the RTX 3060, which is slightly better than the 2060, the i5-10400F, really similar CPU, 16GB at 3000MHz and 500GB of SSD. I think this one is a better PC overall because of the graphics card, so for gaming you will be getting a better experience for $0 in price difference. But if you don't want to buy either the Cyber Power PC or the ABS Master from Newegg, then the Apollo Gaming PC is a really nice option for you that you may want to consider buying. But for me, I think it's between the ABS Master Gaming PC or the Cyber Power one if you don't have that budget. And the last model that we are going to talk about from this company is the high-end gaming PC which is called the Eclipse One. This one is a really nice deal that has the i7-10700, 16GB of RAM and the RTX 3070, 1TB of hard drive and 500GB of SSD, so in this case you won't need more storage unless you need to, but I don't think you will if your main goal is gaming. I think this one is a really nice deal and for gaming at 1440p or even 4K games it will be more than enough if you lower some of the settings in case you want to game on 4K in high demanding video games. But if you want to play games like Fortnite, Valorant, GTA 5 and all of those games at 4K, this one will be more than enough. I think you should buy this one or the Omen 30L customized. I'm talking about this one and you can customize it directly from the description of this video where you will find all of the PCs that I've talked about throughout this video. I think this one might be a little bit better than the Eclipse one in terms of price performance. It has the i7-11700K with liquid cooling of course, so the processor is updated and it's a little bit better. It has 16GB of RAM at 3200MHz, 1TB of hard drive and the RTX 3060 Ti. The GPU is a little bit worse from the other one but you end up spending around $200 less. And I don't think the price difference is worth it considering that the other PC has a worse CPU and just a slightly better GPU. The difference between these two GPUs is around a 10% difference, so you decide if it's worth it for you spending $200 more. I don't think so, I would buy the Omen 30L, but it's your decision to make, so it's completely up to you. And if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content. And if your budget is nowhere near $800, don't worry about it because you can watch my video about the best pre built gaming PCs under $800 in the top right of the screen. And if you want a PC build, I have a lot of PC build videos under $1000. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, and I will see you on the next one.